Hello everybody, this is HG Gamers Elite, and today I'm going to be talking about the new trophy list that was released on PSN about about four or five hours ago. So, um, the first thing on the list was a trophy called Mind Games, and all by trophies I also mean achievements, because on trophies are for PSN, obviously, and achievements are for Xbox, obviously. But it said Mind Games, and it says, in... And buried become their pawn, and pretty much what a pawn is, if you, if anybody of you guys know, for they're pretty much signifies control or something you have control over. So if somebody gives you specific tasks to do it, it pretty much means you're being their pawn, and um, it's pretty much doing something for somebody that you don't know the effect of, like like for say in the zombies Easter egg, if something. You're doing something for somebody that you don't know the outcome that will happen. Like if Rick Toffin was to say, power these pie lines and you do it for them, not knowing what will happen if you power the pie lines, that's pretty much being their pawn. So, and the reason I know why this is the main Easter egg is because it's a silver trophy, just like in every other map. And Pop Go for Pop Goes a Weasel, it was silver and all the other trophies were bronze so it made me believe that this is easter egg considering that it says that it's the hardest one but there were many other trophies that made me believe that there are other maybe side quests or something along those lines because there are other trophies that sound like they could become an easter egg i don't remember the names of them above the top of my head but we'll get back to that in maybe a different video so I'm going to talk about the word mind games. When I think of the word mind games, I kind of think of, you know, hunger games, meaning that everybody like, no, well, not hunger games, but like a mind game, a game in your, you know, that's played in your head. But it's off. It's obviously an analogy, meaning that it's not really talking about your head. It's just kind of saying that mind games, because obviously something's playing with Stolinger's mind, which is Rick Tofen. And I believe Stoolinger is the pawn that, again, who, when you first play the game, there's going to be um, mentionings of this man in your head. And he's going to be pretty much telling you what to do. And then Stoolinger tells the other characters what to do pretty much on his audio quotes that you pay attention to in Diarize and, and Transit. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for you guys today. Um, I pretty much, the Easter egg, obviously... For itself, I believe we'll have to come with, um, since you're buried and it says you will stay here forever, I believe they will be locked in there forever. Or maybe they are able to escape and get out, out actually get out of the, you know, the tomb that they're in, escape the tomb. Because if you go into Mob of the Dead, there's a poster that says escape from the tomb. So wouldn't that make sense if you actually have to escape from this tomb in the um, final Easter egg? And maybe one of those pylons that are in transit and die rise are on top or outside of the tomb. And you have to power it. So um, with uh, the souls from the zombies shooting zombies under it. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please comment, rate, and of course subscribe. See you guys. Peace.